back from My Shire Farm and uh, by popular demand we are actually going to do a couple videos on genetics. Um, this one is going to be kind of like a basic genetics on certain things uh, and then we're going to go into detail about certain colors. Um, so I hope this will help. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, before I begin, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm. Like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, but jumping into it, there's a couple things so all we carry at Myshire Farm are Caternix quail. We don't have Bob Whites, we don't have Snowflakes, we don't have Valley quail. We only carry Caternix quail um, for many different reasons. Uh, but with Caternix quail, <clears throat> we've got like 22 different colors, two different jumbos, um, so you have a large variety to choose from, okay? Now with that being said, one major thing that you want to know and think about when you start hatching out and trying to breed your own is a true hatch. A true hatch means if you put in a hundred of one color egg, how many are going to hatch out that same exact color? All right. So for example, our jumbo wilds. Our jumbo wilds are true jumbo wilds. The reason we can say that is because they hatch out 99.9% feral wilds, right? Now, if you take um, SSC, which is our Schofield Silver Collection, they do not hatch out 100% true. They hatch out about 60% true. And we'll get into that um, in another video. I don't want the videos to be too long. Um, but one thing that you want to think about is hatching true. So... Um, we're going to do a small little video on each color and let you know, uh, some, with some of them we'll let you know how we got the color or how to breed for that color um, or why we don't try to get it to breed true or why we're trying to do that or, or whatever. Um, one of the major questions I'm getting asked lately is, am I working on a new Jumbo? Um, long story short, you can breed in two different ways, in, in my opinion. You can breed for weight, or you can breed for color, right? I don't think, and I could be wrong, I could look down the road in five years and go, like, wow, I was way off. I don't think there's going to be anything bigger than a jumbo wild. I, they're just bred for it, they're, they, they've always been bred for it, um, and I really like them, and I love that the jumbo wilds are feather sexable, um, they're easier to manage, uh, they seem a lot more calm, um, and there's just many different reasons why I think the Jumbo Wilds should be the number one Jumbo. Um, now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to work on Jumbos, because we are, but we also want to make sure that we're getting really good colors um, and such also. So, um, for example, our SSCs hatch out 60% true because it's a collection. So in our next video, we're going to be talking about the collections that we carry. We have something called the SSCs, which are called the Schofield Silver Collections, and the German Pastel Collections. So if you're interested in more genetics, uh, stay tuned, and our next video will be about those two colors. And I hope this helps, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.